Export aluminum um, to USA. Okay, I'll take it. Although to be fair, it's going to slow down our air production at some point. Well, Shanghai opens the Shanghai's just slow burn down spiral. Yeah, it tends to be. I mean, a player can kind of um, navigate around that, but it's still going to be quite difficult. Got those there. Alberta's core is probably going to be right in here. <laughs> oh, right, we got election. Uh, artillery carriage and design. I'm just going to quickly set up the artillery to be researched. Let's have a look at the election results. So, PNC is still the biggest one. So that means, uh, yeah, the party is still the same. I'm pretty sure that a lot of these um, ministers are actually still the same as well. Maybe not the head of intelligence. Oh, right. I still don't have a minister of science. But yeah, it's probably time to shuffle the ministers indeed. Although we haven't really gotten new ones, have we? Um, is there anything in here? This is the <laughs> capital ship practical decay, which is not really um, relevant for us. The superiority doctrine is pretty good, so we'll keep that one. And then the Static de Defense Doctrine. Yeah, no, some of them do get more, but like this time I think it just... We were already using the leaders or the ministers. Hmm, the Corporate Suit, do we want to... Oh yeah, I want to get the Silent Workers back on. Definitely. We already doctoring now. All right, so Taz's troops are about to be here as well, so they'll help going through the forest in the north or northern Lithuania, hopefully. bit less in reinforcements and all that. I mean, we're slowly recuperating from the war, I suppose. Not that there's that much to recuperate from, to be fair. Um, Germany, should we try to steal your tech again? I think we should. Probably not going to give us a lot, but we can spend some of our extra spies. Although I suppose another thing that I should do is send in spies to Soviet Union, so we can know a little bit about them. Or a little bit more about them, anyway. But yeah, for Lithuania, we're going to pop at them, and same for Latvia and Estonia. And technically speaking, I could annex them, but I don't think it's going to be that much use for me. Like, uh, the industry that I'd get from them is not worth the effort of trying to keep the rebels down. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> we got the second level of the shortages. Right. Luminous surplus down to two. Tungsten shortage. Oh right, then we lost the level 1, of course. But we need to start spending some... Oh, we don't have a chromite surplus right now either. The Bank of International Settlements just appeared. Yeah, I think we'd sell 4,000 supplies. Yeah, a bit extra money. I suspect that we, yeah, we're slowly gathering up a bit of supplies over here for the units that are about to start attacking. Well, I say about, it's probably going to take at least a few days still. But eventually they will start attacking. Oh, right, then we've got these. Oh, right, these quote unquote artillery regiments are the reinforcements for our generals, weren't they? I believe they are. There's artillery, anti tank guns, motorized engineers, and light trucks. Except this one was for the Light Infantry General. Give them a bit of money for metal. I suppose that seems uh, reasonable. Right, so how good is the grass uh, situation? It's 8.6. It's a bit better than some places. 
I'll put HQ to the front. <laughs> Give them some energy. And we've got three more of these. Well, that's going to be in next month. Oh, we're going to get another steel refiner in Bucharesti as well. Excellent. How many do we have so far of the refineries? Or oh, steel. Oh, we've gotten all the coal fields there. We're making about 170 right now. We do still have a bit of a rebel problem in here. But it's mostly the inopportune vacation. That's going to end at the 26th of February, I believe. So that's not going to be a problem for much longer. Although the home front is going to wear off hopefully soon. Although, once it does, we'll just declare the war. That's also not really a problem. Right, so steel refiners. We've got seven so far. We can get another three. I'm going to get that one in January. Oh, it's our construction practice is now 1.8. That has gone up. Also, how we started researching the armor size? I hope not. Or strength increase. We got the AA in there, or AT and AA. No, I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, armor command structure. No, the armor strength is in here. Okay, let's drop that to the bottom. You know what? I'm just going to cancel that for now. We'll get that later. Special Forces Branch Upgrade, Gun Position, Twin Engine Planes, Advance. So hold on, that's in... Armament? Yeah, it is, okay. Hello, Ozzing, how's it going? I suppose we could get the machine gun focus already. I mean, it's basically 38 anyway. There we go, auto save. Only we'll to do the start of the year things. Oh, right, we could invest in the zinc. Might not be a bad idea. Because if you begin with the family, I can imagine. But I hope your Christmas went well. Right. Let's start with the economic boost and um, all of these. We'll go through the mine boosting. At some point, so espionage and spies. I think we still want to keep with the national unity. Then national focus. Economy might not be bad. At the same time, we have started building a bit more army. That might also be a good one. Right, if we want to reduce the revolt risk, we would go health and education. But at the same time, economy could give us some heavy industry. Hmm. What do we think? What do we want? Definitely not navy, and probably not air force either. So it would be probably army, economy, or... Help with education, maybe? Army Echo. Yeah, that's probably the best options right now. In all fairness. Army? I got one word for Army, one word for Army Echo. In favor of Army to build more factories. True. I mean, technically it doesn't cheapen the stuff necessarily, or not directly, but yeah, I, I do think that ooh, and it actually gives us a bit more manpower as well, so that's not a bad thing. Existing factories, it's going to reduce the IC a little bit, we'll get some armament factories, artillery factories. Oh wait, yeah, you mean the factories, yeah, those do reduce the cost. Baka, Ara, and ERC, hmm, okay. And then we'll go with the long-term investment again. Boosting the money production at least a little bit still. Um, right, then we have the... Oh, we don't want to have the National Monument. Necessarily. We should probably expand the Zinc at least to get a bit of... Um, at least not a shortage. 1.3 IC per... But as a minor every IC reduction counts. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, we'll expand the Zinc. 
And we'll probably have to buy some of the resources. Yeah, we're actually going to get another division tomorrow. That's good. How is our infantry practical anyway? 12.2, so that's not bad. Artillery is a bit low at 3.0. And then there's many other things. But at least the infantry is being produced quickly enough. Everything else isn't. Now we just need to wait for the home front modifier. Oh, there we go. End of war sign measures. Lose the descent. And the Italians are still launching more ships. So PS Core is getting that. Hmm. I mean, I suppose we can start the war. Lithuania? They've been influenced by Italy. Now, actually, before we start the war, let's save in case something goes terribly wrong. So we know what's... Like, I suppose we have a relatively high threat on nations. For example, let's have a look at... Oh, yeah, Soviets have already quite a bit of threat on us. Or rather, we have a lot of threat on them. Hmm. They got non-exception back with the Chinese. Then they, of course, have the regular people in there on their stuff. Where are we on the list anyway? Uh, if we have a look at the majors, pretty close to the Allies. Closely large alliance to provide uranium, automotive industry, aluminum, petroleum refinery, synthetic industry, chromite, zinc, and helium to UK. Okay. Right, so where was Lithuania again on the list here? There is Lithuania. We'll do Puppet instead. Right, so Alberto, your core is just going to go into the capital, and the general core is going to go into the other one. And we'll have uh, Tassus troops going to the northern one, and then Mastani's units are going to move in here to assist with Kaunas, I think. Oh, right, and we got a bit of extra in here. I'm not going to switch the laws on... Well, the extra industry, because this war is not going to last very long. I mean, it goes to all allies always, but when Bessarabia goes to the USR, the legionary Roman government takes over and shifts access, and via that event they join. Yeah. I mean, it's mostly about the pressure that the Germans put on them. Kind of. Oh, small entertainment show. Excellent. That's right in time because we got a lot of events that are raising our <laughs> daily descent. Of course, it's going to take until tomorrow probably before the modifier hits in. But yeah, we'll probably do one <laughs> war per month right now in the Baltics, assuming that no one declares war on us. But we may need to start planning on some defense. Oh, there we go. And we've got some small arms factories, artillery factories, supply factories. That helps a little bit. And we've got five divisions attacking into the city. There's two headquarters and two garrisons, so basically nothing in comparison. Yeah, so far so good. But yeah, Soviets are going to be the big question in here. Like, are they going to start declaring war on me? Of course, another thing is potentially Germany and Italy. I'm not the biggest threat on them right now, so they probably won't declare war on us. But Germans have no neutrality whatsoever at this stage. Hmm. Slightly concerning. Are we... No, we're not at our width uh, limit there. So we can bring in the Mastani's infantry in to attack there. Of course... We can also help from here, although we have a bit of a lack of supplies in here. Whoops. Good thing about puppeting Lithuania is that then we'll just use their supply system. We'll probably need to send quite a bit of supplies in there, but that's neither here nor there. That's, an, that's not going to be the problem, let's just say. Ah, armor plate thickness. Right, so it slows down our tanks a little bit. Is the uh, foreign tanks, is that listed in here actually? Foreign equipment, yeah, it is. Okay, so that's uh, also slowing it down. Gives a bit of weight. It gives some defensiveness and plus one in armor. So it means that some of the enemies will not be able to get through our tanks as easily. 
I think I'm gonna drop it there though. I'm not gonna wanna get too many levels on it, I reckon. Not yet anyway, because I don't wanna slow down my tanks too much. Right, so there's one defender at Kaunas. I would say that... Oh yeah, we do need to take both of those places. Not really a surprise to be fair. Right, so my expansion, I'm gonna postpone for three months again. Oh, we got the horses. Excellent. No, oh, no, we're under attack there. Which means the Taz is probably going to get into the northern point first before the... Oh, no, never mind. It could be that the General Corps is going to get there first. Yeah, probably does. There's already two units going in there, although Taz's units are relatively quick, I suppose, but they're not really moving into that province yet. So, yeah, it's not really a competition. And Germans still don't have that many troops on our border, although it's a bloody long border to defend, so there is that. They did have some troops on the Lithuanian border, by the looks of it. Do you have any more events to worry about? No. Oh, the home front. I forgot to do that. <laughs> okay, let's do that now. Okay, lost quite a bit of supplies, a bit of money. We also get 100 manpower, which is always nice. Like, with the extra from the... Um, hmm. The army focus, yeah, that's the one. Uh, that's um, So we're getting about 16 manpower per month right now, which is not bad. And how soon are we there? We should be practically there. Yeah, we should. Okay, there we go. So tomorrow, Lithuania will surrender. It's entirely possible that they will then already let me get rid of the home front thing. We actually have Tassus troops on the eastern border and then we'll have... Oh, yeah, there we go. Opting completed. We are going to need a bit more consumer goods by the looks of it. Although once we get rid of the home front, that's going to get rid of the descent. Right, um, we'll just get Alberto's corps again in a position to just drive into Riga. They're fairly decent at that sort of stuff. Get you in there and then get Mastani's troops on the western border here, just in case. Provide some protection there. So I believe... Well, let's wait for the next day, just in case. But I believe we should still have the horse modifier in. Let's get more XP, boys. <laughs> we back on the menu for next month. But luckily we didn't destroy any of their divisions, I think. So they should still have their units, more or less. Although those seem to be quite a weak units. But hey, it's units for our side. Our own faction here. The no faction faction. So the horses, yeah, we still got that one. Because it's a puppet of null. Oh, there we go, and wartime measures. Alright, so we'll just wait a couple of days to get the troops in position. Give them some energy. Sure. Oh, right, can I di direct our puppets? Yeah, industrial focus for the puppets. I think we'll just go with focus on army. I don't think they'll have a lot of resources in here. We got a tiny bit in there, a bit of energy. But energy is probably something that we could tell them to focus on, but even that would probably not... Oh, that's already a full level at coal fields there. So yeah, it's not necessarily good for the resources. But it's not something I'm expecting from them. Now the new window allows to disable the public decisions. Do it with the new window much easier. That's for racing and clicks. Yeah, I've not checked the uh, um, placards one. Well, Placards 11. White, yeah, it's. I'll probably check it after this uh, playthrough has ended. Oh, 
how much are we trading? Well, I suppose I can't really see the exact amount that I'm trading to the Lithuanians because it's not listed as a trade route. Not that it necessarily matters all that much. Slow that one down a little bit. Oh, right, we still had a tiny bit of descent, actually. Should be going down, though. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, why do we have th this many convoys in here? Bring us a bit of energy. I think we can cancel that one. And this one. Because there's not actually being anything brought. More arms advance. Oh, right, that was that. something that we got partially from the militia returning. It gives small arms, and I don't remember if it's infantry guns or something else that it also gives. Actually, we haven't gone through the text right now to put in everything 1938 back into the research queue. Let's do that real quick. There's quite a few text to put in here, though. Uh, we can get that one. That's certainly something that we want to be at the top. The radar is probably fine. Construction. I'm going to get the installation security just in case. And did we? Uh, we can get the motorized support, I suppose. Can't really get the camouflage. I don't think I want to get the body armor because our infantry is the primary means of advancing, and if we slow it down too much, then that's going to cause some issues. Uh, we could get the um, AA for our tanks and all that. And that is something that we can't really have an impact there. We could get the amphibious warfare. We don't really have marines or naval infantry or anything like that yet, though. Although, I think naval infantry is something that we have unlocked. Oh, and Munro effect. That's something that we'll put into the top as well. Right, so we didn't want that one yet. Uh, over here, we've got pretty much everything under research already. Armament, we can get the gun turrets. We could get the ammunition capacity, although that does reduce the range a little bit, but it's probably fine. I'll at least get one level there. In naval infantry, as Marines mine is useful, but not great. Yeah, I mean, it might be okay for our needs, because we don't necessarily need a proper Marines and getting all that tech for that. All that tech for them, but yeah, it might be okay doing the oh right supercharger. I'd lower this range quite a bit, increase the fuel consumption like crazy, even massive speed boost, and also a bit of um air attack. So I'm kind of tempted to take the supercharger actually. And the avionics, there's a few more things in there. Not gonna put in more naval stuff in here. We got already some of things. I mean, other than maybe if we've unlocked some class upgrades, then yes. But other than that, I suppose we could maybe get the entire submarine warfare there, actually. Now that I mentioned that. Uh, right, then. Elastic defense. Sure, dark fire gets a bit more boost there. Tank crew training. Fuel, consum fuel consumption would go up at the same time. Soft attack would go up, and hard attack would go up on tanks. That does include the foreign equipment, actually, so that's really good. And then over here, there's the well, there's not that much over there that we can take that we're not already using. Research. Oh, there's the infrastructure, transport, and development. Sure. We'll put that in. And superior firepower. Is there anything in here? I mean, there's the mobile defense. I suppose we could get. Although, well, yeah, we've got a little bit of mobile troops anyway. At the same time, it's just the tactics that it gives. To be fair, over here, do we want to have... I could get some of the naval stuff here, but I don't think I'm going to bother with it right now. We've got already way too many things researching. Though we can research 75 things at once now, so that's not bad. Um, over here, I'm pretty sure that we're getting most of it already. I suppose I could get the interdiction efficiency and carrier aircraft efficiency as well. Oh, right, and then the... Naval strike, pole strike. Uh, naval bombing target chance. Um, yeah, so all the naval stuff, because if we are starting to fight someone with a lot of navies say, the Allies, for example, then we want to have our naval bombers be as good as possible. Maybe get the carrier aircraft stuff, because that also has the modifiers for the naval bombers. 